Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC, testing out this new mic. We're live on Facebook, and this is just a, a preview, all right? Because tomorrow on our Titans of CNC Academy Facebook group, we're going to go live at 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. Pacific, that's 2 o'clock Eastern time, we're going to go live. And basically, everybody in the group gets to ask questions, and we're just going to answer the questions right there live, making it happen. One of the, the focuses, besides just American manufacturing and competing in a global economy, you know, getting jobs, you know, bringing jobs back, completing those jobs, and just, you know, everything that's job shop related, one of the things I want to focus on is small groups, right? So we build this amazing curriculum. We put the curriculum online for free, all right? So now the curriculum's online. St colleges and schools all over the nation are basically using the curriculum, right? And now we're just like dedicating ourselves to building more curriculum, building more content. And we're just, we're, we're running the machines, we're doing tutorials, we're teaching you how to design parts and, and to, you know, program, how to set up the CNC machines, how to stone vices, basically walk you from design to a finished part so you can hold it in your hand, learn through repetition, and basically take you through a series of projects, right? But something happened. Something happened. And what had happened was I was watching a machinist that works all day at a company. And this guy, his name's John Schaefer. And he basically was like, hey, I just got my own machine. I started my own shop at night. So I work during the day. I go at night. And I actually work in my own CNC shop. And this is my dream. I just completed my first part. I delivered it to a paying customer and he liked it, right? And then all of a sudden he's like, this right here takes me one step closer to my dream of teaching CNC machining to the next generation and just to people about, I wanna show them about this industry. And all of a sudden I was thinking, you know what? This has never happened in the history of the world, but we have free CAD CAM. We have machines and shops all over, and now we have free curriculum online, free for anybody that wants to learn. You wanna learn how to design, you wanna learn how to program, it's right there, right? So all of a sudden, my head just clicked, and I'm like, John, I don't know John, right? And I'm like, John, how about you become the first small group member or host to host the small group. So basically, instead of a college, colleges are great, teachers are heroes, but machine shops know what they need. They know the machines that they have, right? So basically, now we have the curriculum online, we're giving it to you for free, and the, the curriculum is the glue that holds an academy together because the academy small group basically teaches the projects on the academy, takes people that have never known what CNC is, takes people who maybe are just operators, takes people who know three axis and want to jump to five axis, takes people wherever they are, and basically you come together in a small group, create community, and you all rise together together in relationship with each other. And I was like, John, you should be the first host for Academy Small Group number one. And basically, he's just like, dude. <laughs> I'm like, what's the name of your company? He's like, Genesis Precision. I'm like, that's perfect, you know? And now, on Monday nights, John, right, just like, it's been two Mondays already. It's only been like eight weeks and two Mondays already. He basically is already hosting. He has a full group with a waiting list. And now Academy small groups are forming all over the place in Michigan and Ohio and Florida and 
California, in the UK, all over the place. And it's just this crazy thing. And people are like, what is this thing that's happening? And it's just this community that is growing all over the places where people with machines are opening their shops to people from the outside and teaching them CNC machining, right? We're starting off with the building blocks, then we're going to the rockets. So we're doing mills, we're doing lays, then we're doing fixture, and we're doing five axes, we're doing tombstones, we're doing robotics. We're gonna teach the entire industry through small groups, and, and that's how people are gonna do it, right? So you can be an open group, or you can actually be a closed group. So a company like Kenna Metal, these guys signed up, they're going to have like two groups, right? And it's probably going to grow. But right now, they didn't want to open it up. They wanted to kind of figure it out and do it internal. So they're doing a small group and it's closed. So it's in-house training, right? And now all the academy groups all across the nation are coming together. They're coming together and they're all networked together. We're getting crazy deals for these guys because it's education. We got tools at crazy discounts. We got we got free this and free that. And all of a sudden it's just education. You know, all the experts, you know, all the experts, they sit on that stage and they say, we need to do this to build the economy. We need to do this for manufacturing. We need this, we need this. And they look outside to solve our problems. But all of a sudden, what we're doing right here is we're taking the problems and we're solving them from the inside out. Who knows better how to solve manufacturing problems than actual manufacturers? If you are a CNC shop and you do like horizontal milling with pallet systems, you should be teaching the exact things that you need in your shop. If you run five axis, you should be teaching five axis. If you run three axis, if you run routers, whatever you're running, that's what you should be teaching, right? The thing about the curriculum that a lot of people don't know, I flip education on its head, right? We teach designing from prints. We go and we all of a sudden we're teaching, we're teaching people how to program. People are like, wait, we've never like, they never touch a CNC. It doesn't even matter, right? So. We're teaching them CNC machining we're through this CAM system. We're programming jobs. I don't care about a thousand, I care about five, right? So five tools, face mill, end mill, chamfer, drill, tap. I don't care about everything else. Just follow me like I'm your dad, like I'm your brother. Like just follow me and trust me, all right? So let's put these tools are. It doesn't matter what diameter, it's just gonna offset them half the distance, all right? Just follow me, let's make this tool pass, boom, boom. All right, let's simulate it, let's simulate it, let's make it happen, right? It looks good. All right, now you know what you're trying to make, and you know how big it is because you actually designed it from that print, all right? So now let's take this program that we've simulated, that we watched, it's not gonna crash that we went off the tools that Titan did in the tutorial. We're using the same tools because the tools live inside the CAD CAM system. Let's take it over to the CNC machine. Now let's have an expert machinist show us. All right, we gotta prepare our table. You can't have one little scratch, one little bit, right? Let's stone the table. This is how we stone the table. This is what a, a machinist stone is. All right, let's, let's, let's put the vise on. Let's, let's indicate the vice, let's put a stop. Boom, all right, all right. How do we put the program in? Let's put the program in. Let's follow the setup sheet. Let's create the zeros, move in, move in, move in. You got it, we're good, right? Let's raise it above, let's run it, let's drop the rapids, let's, let's just run it through the program, all right? All of a sudden, it looks good, okay? Let's, let's take it all down, let's just run apart. What has happened all across the nation that people are getting is that kids seven years old are designing straight from the tutorials, the video tutorials. They're designing parts with their dad who's a machinist and they get what their dad does now, right? They get what their mom does right now. Then all of a sudden the dad's like, my kid is getting this and, and, and showing them 
actually how to program. That's impossible. Everybody says, no, it takes two years. No, it's the system. It's the philosophy that we're doing, right? So all of a sudden, you got these kids, and they're, they're excited, and you put them on a CNC machine, and the dad or the, the, the teacher or whoever, he actually, boom, boom, helps you out. Then he runs the first part, makes sure it's all good, right? And then he, all of a sudden, when it's good, he'll t let you touch the control, and chips are popping off that metal, and you're making a part. And then all of a sudden, that part comes off. The part comes off, and you're holding it in your hand. It's not a part with a couple of brackets. Our first part is a Titan 1M on the Academy, on the Titans of CNC Academy. It's got 1032 threads. You face it, you pocket it, you profile it, you flip it open, you make it, you hold it in your hand, and all of a sudden with one part, they're like, oh my Lord, this, like this is crazy. I just made something. You can judge me for whatever, but now judge me for what I made. And all of a sudden, it changes everything, right? They go to the second one, and all of a sudden, they, they make another part, and it's just like the first one. But now the pockets are open-ended. There's a few different changes. we got to kiss that corner. we got to do some things. Now they just made two. And guess what? The second part, face mill, end mill, chamfer, drill, tap. Wait, that was the same thing you just did. Wait, the third one, face mill, end mill, drill. Work from the work the part down, they get intricate, right? Have a love for the game, have a love for making something, and then all of a sudden, what happens? They start thinking, I can make rims for my car. I can make this cool thing for my GoPro. I can like make things for my bike. I can make my own products. And you're like, exactly. That's how this country was built, by making your own products, by by trading that product for money, right? And it makes sense. You give something of value that you made that didn't exist, they give you money, you pay your rent and take care of your family. That's the way the world is, that's the way the world works. And we've lost it in our government. We've been sold out. So many things have happened and people have forgot that we make our own products. Now, guess what? These kids start thinking about manufacturing. They're excited. I talked to these teachers, and the teachers were like, Titan, before the academy, we had a 10% retention rate. Guess what it is now? 80 90% in just a couple months. And guess what, Titan? The parents, the counselors, the teachers, the schools are excited. You think I'm surprised? I'm not surprised because they're making something. You know, see, I was an F student. You know, I was I was out doing things, right? Because I didn't know, I didn't understand this world. But all of a sudden, after I've been broken enough and you put me on a CNC machine and I started making things, and then all of a sudden, the faster, the better that I did, you're gonna pay me for that? It all changed. My, my outlook all changed. You know, it wasn't about my past. It wasn't about what I had done. You know, my boss would come and say, Titan, that is a beautiful part. And I'd look at the surface finishes. I'd look at the outside and I'd just be like, boom, we just kissed it in that surface finish. So that was supposed to be like a 125. It's like a 32. Like, oh. And I'd be like, man, this is like jewelry. It's beautiful. And I took pride in it. And all of a sudden, you start making more money. You start paying your bills. All of a sudden, you know, for me, I look back and all of a sudden I, be, I became a good man because I'm like, you know, I figured what life was about. I believe that the academy, the free, everybody's like, you need to charge for it. You need to charge for it. No, it's free. The academy, Titans of CNC Academy. It's like academy.titansofcnc.com. It is free. Anybody can go on there and learn CAD. Anybody can go on there and learn CAM. Anybody can learn CNCs. And we're just going to keep building and building and building because you know what? There is a huge part of this country and all countries where we weren't made to be bankers, lawyers, doctors. We don't have the opportunities to go to college to do these things. 
And, and if you take all the opportunities away from us, we might end up in a bad place. But you give us an opportunity to make our own parts. You give us an opportunity to make something with our hands. And we take pride in that. We take pride in it. I have a, I have a job shop right here. We make some crazy aerospace parts. You know, I've, I've been through my ups and downs. I almost lost everything in 08, you know, and it, it's really what, what made me dedicate myself to this trade, to building and bringing work back, you know, and building this trade up, you know, so we can rightfully make the parts that we're capable of making through advanced automation. We can make it happen. All right, so I just got carried away because, oh, man, you put me on this mic. I got so much built up, and people say, Titan, he's passionate. He's aggressive. He's, he's like, over the top. And you know what? Absolutely, because when you walk through the valleys that I've walked through and you understand that, that it can be better, that we are running at this percent of our production is running right here of our capabilities, and we could be here. We could put our kids through college. We could we could pay our rent. We could we could build bigger companies. We could make it happen. I know it's true. I know it's attainable. And I see people missing it. And therefore, I'm passionate. I want to excite people and say, you know what? You got one life. You you worked your butt off to get this shot, right? And now we're like dealing with mediocrity. Let's step up, let's stand up, let's clean that floor, clean that machine, let's put people in good uniforms, right? Let's take pride in serving our employees. Let's lift up our company and take care of our customers because if we don't, somebody else will. Let's make it happen and take pride and, and have passion and go after it. And you know what happens? That everybody around you gets passion. Everybody around you, your culture builds. People say like, oh man, my my, my employees, they're, you know, there's no passion. There's Everybody just comes to work. They don't start at seven. They, they walk in at 15 minutes after. Leaders have to lead and leaders have to exude passion. You got to lift people up and you got to show them vision and you got to get excited. Like when you first started your company, you need to do something. We can do our own parts. We can make our own parts. We can do it at a discounted price through running many parts and fixturing and automation. We can do incredible things, but we have to stand up. We got to fight for those jobs and we got to show people that made in China is not normal. Made in the USA is awesome. And guess what? If you're in Australia, made in Australia is awesome. If you're in the UK, made in the UK is awesome. You deserve to make your own parts. But in Americans, we have an $800 billion deficit. And you know what? If we just bring that much of that, those parts back, everybody is slammed. So we need to bring more people into our industry. And that's what Academy Small Groups is doing. And it's a passionate network that is worldwide already. And it's only been weeks and tomorrow we're gonna start. This was just a test, like a 60 second test. And it's probably like pretty long already, all right? So you guys, you guys have a great blessed night. Can't wait. Oh, boom.